report that our work in the United States has caught the attention of the World Association of Zoos, Zoological Organizations, and Complementary or Kindred Societies. They've contacted us to request our assistance with an emergency. So a zoo in Japan was just abandoned to avoid paying for their repairs. Now, I think you can probably guess who that previous owner was, too. Mr. Myers. Dominic Myers. Sorry, it's just that you didn't say anything. Look, I don't mind telling you, this isn't the first one of his failed zoos I've had to purchase. Okay, anyway, thankfully all of the animals are in fine fettle having been taken into care. But they can't stay there indefinitely, so we have to make repairs as swiftly as possible and give those animals a home again. Although, I suppose technically, their giant tortoise already has one. <laughs> okay, okay, come on. There's lots to do and very little time. Oh, and even less money, so we will need to take out a loan. All right. Hello and welcome to the Yamaguchi Prefecture Tranquility Zoo. And, uh, yes, the game is already telling us that this was one of Maya's zoos. The important alert is something that I think we've all begun to associate with Dominic Myers. So let's just take a look at that. Um, let me just quickly. There we go. Yeah, okay. I, I was a little too loud there, but I think it's fine now. At least I hope it is. I have no idea. Um, yeah, we have no zookeepers, but we have animals. That's great. And we have a few problems. Just a few. Okay. So, first of all, let's go and repair everything. Everything. Um, we don't have enough money to replace all of those. So literally one of the first things we have to do is get a loan. At least it's a good loan. Right, there we go. Now the zoo is repaired. <laughs> now there's that. All the animals we have are two Indian peafowl. Uh, and this is the whole zoo. We got this really, really nice, gorgeous pre-built zoo. With a lot of habitats. Let's run this for a second so that the broken benches unbreak themselves. <laughs> with this huge temple in the middle. I really, really like the actual zoo layout. Mm. Now I've got quite a few different areas. It's nicely sized. But now let's just take a look at what we actually have to do for the bronze objective. Uh, adopt and place the rescue animals found in the reward section. Increase the zoo reputation to two stars and complete all habitat boundaries. Um, <laughs> yeah, because some of the habitats are broken. Uh, for beginners, I think we should just actually take care of the people. Mm, there's like two in here, technically speaking. <laughs> there they are. So, um, this is the second to last scenario from the base game, which tells you that it's going to take a bit of time to complete. It's not exactly the easiest. I've seen a lot of people struggle with it. Um, well, actually, no. Mostly because, you know, it is a... Uh, takes a lot of work to get into to set everything up. It's once again a Dominic Meyer Zoo. I mean, what are we expecting, really? Yeah, for work zones, this does actually matter a little. Um, I'm gonna make this the entrance. I'm gonna, like, quarter this or something. Like, this is gonna be the entrance area. And I have one work zone, and um, where are all the staff buildings? They're up here. So we definitely need all of those in there as well. But hopefully keep all of them somewhat happy. Assign them to that work zone for now. Now in this work zone we have a few empty habitats as well as the peafowl. Um, for now the only thing we'll care about is the peafowl. Might as well instantly have her research dose. And you can just, you know, like, you shouldn't take this too slowly, but you can take it slowly. 
Um, another thing you can do is literally go and just close all shops. That is something you have to do uh, because you do not need those shops. Um, also, we have to open it. Uh, there we go. See, like, this is fine, but we have... Okay, these are all already closed, and the whole of the locks are broken. Might as well keep the ATMs open just in case. What else is going on? Okay, well, the mechanic is gonna go around and repair everything. Um, I suppose I'll take him out of the... Might as well hire a second mechanic just for that purpose. Well, we have the money. And now let's just take a look at our people. She said, unable to find the people. <laughs> uh, there's, there's one of them. Perfect. So... DNP file. Okay, well, they need some toys, but we can't provide those. But they need shelter, which we can provide. Yeah, maybe a little like house like this. I suppose that might work out. Put some bedding into it. Oh, I put it on top of the water. Um, you go over there. Go, go over there. <laughs> that's That's not optimal. There's a reporter coming. Um, this barrier is completely broken. But there's not even an animal in it, so <laughs> there's that. And there we go. First challenge already completed. That was easy. Um, which the rest of the zoo will not be, by the way. It is Planet Zoo. It's it's, it's never easy, you know. <laughs> um, at least we've got great people. Are you enough? Like, do you? Yeah, I need more people. That was something else I was thinking. They won't be happy. So, um, as you can probably tell from the fact that we have a lot of habitats, we're going to have a lot of animals. And as you can probably tell from the happiness in my voice, <laughs> some of them are going to be a little harder to deal with. I hope you can't hear that in the background. My neighbors decided that Saturday is the best, uh, Sunday is the best day of the week to build something. It sounds like they're building a, like, like they're hammering something. I don't really know. Anyways, uh, yeah, sorry. Technically speaking, I could go over and tell them to not do it because you're not allowed to. But, uh, you know, all of my neighbors already hate each other. We don't need to further that. Oh, also, before, I know I haven't specifically said it, but you know the rule. We all know the rule of poor Zeus by now. Uh, this is also our only habitat at the moment, so <laughs> I don't know how many people want to come to see 4P Fowl, but... Power source inaccessible? Ah. Why? Why should this be inaccessible? I don't get it. Now it's accessible. <laughs> if, if that makes it inaccessible, I'm just going to remove it and put it somewhere else. It's not too difficult. Yeah, the monorail we're not going to care about right now. It's part of the final challenge, but um, not today. At least not now. Let's just take a look at the animals we got. Two timber wolves, two nail monitors, and one Siberian tiger. Now, Siberian tigers always want to be kept in groups, so we can't really do much with them, anyways. And for the rest, we'll have to find fitting habitats. And as you can see, the um, land life has been ruined quite a bit as well for some of these habitats. That's another bit we'll have to take care of.
Now you can sort of tell which habitat originally held which animal by the plants in it and the space in it and everything. So we can sort of just go and um, reassign those. Like either this one or this one would be for the timber wolf. Let's take that one. You know, if we have more animals later on, we can always move them. I'm just removing all the plants from the habitat right now. Uh, because they're all broken down anyways. So let's move these into here. Mm. Well, see, we're almost done with repairing things too, that's fine. That's really, really great, actually. Um, but I, I probably have to make another work zone here, don't I? Um. <laughs> uh, I suppose we'll have like three work zones in total then, I don't know. There we go, that's work zone two. And then the rest is going to be work zone three. There's better ways to plan this, um, but... This should work out. You know, if you have staff rooms and such, you can just add them to everything anyways. So just make sure you do that. There was a little bit there that wasn't added. There we go. Um, first we'll need a second keeper and a second caretaker on this side too. Um, this is then work zone 3. I think this is going to be work zone 3. The report is coming and we have nothing. <laughs> there is just nothing in the zoo. What the hell is going on with my audio? Why? Somehow it thinks it thinks that I'm really, really loud. Um, I hope I'm not really, really loud. I don't know. I'm actually talking pretty quietly, but... Um, okay, that's not enough space for them. Um, I made a mistake from planning, apparently. <laughs> Good. Um, I know that this one here is for the Siberian Tiger. And this one isn't any bigger, is it? Oh no, actually this is bigger. Well, that answers the question of which one they were supposed to go into. Noah, you're going over there. Sorry. And the same one goes for... Maple. It's always hard to tell. Okay, there we go. My PFO should be back to happiness, hopefully. Hello? I love how they somehow sound like elephants. Like, they're just me, but... We they sound a little like elephants. Did we get any research done so far? Nope. Oh, well, that's fine. Now uh, we're not making money, obviously. Making money in the zoo is uh, going to be a challenge. A challenge on its own. This is just enough space for one of them. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Um, Timberwolf. See, I've, I've done this one before, but I've only quickly finished a Silver Star one to get the new scenario unlocked, to get the final one unlocked. So I'm not uh, an expert in any way, shape or form. I'm just as new to this as those of you who haven't even played the game. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, at least to this specific scenario. Yeah, Africa is the one continent I don't want. <laughs> Not tender, temperate, and tiger. There we go. 
let's get you some trees. Trees always help, right? Uh, yeah, true. I have to set them to work zone 2 now. There we go. These animals accept a lot of plants, but because we're already sort of low in space, um, we probably won't be placing too many. If you're interested in the hard mode of all of these scenarios, I will be streaming those on Twitch. Um, I won't be uploading them again <laughs> because, like, it's just even more waiting. But if you're interested, um, I will put my Twitch into the description so you can join me there. Are you guys okay with this price? Like, is this acceptable? Not quite, <laughs> not quite, but um. It doesn't hurt them that much, I think. Like, it's not optimal, but it works. Tender cooler, please work. I want my snow back. Thank you. There we go. Uh, yeah, except for enrichment, they're fine. The space thing does hurt a little. Like, they're not quite as happy as they could be. But I don't really know if I want to, like, rebuild the habitats or anything, because... You know, the, the zoo is already pretty much done built, being built, so redoing it is a little... A little weird, in my opinion. But maybe that's just me, I don't know. I'm happy about the fact that, like, about the fact that I have electricity everywhere. <laughs> And like clean water. <laughs> Not one last thing to worry about. Oh, bright donation boxes. You've seen the wolves now give me money, please. So many ATMs. <laughs> Life got mechanics. Please repair these things. They're just permanently failing. <laughs> okay. Um. Now let's take a look at there are two animals already, a rhino and a uh, nyala. I want to get the Nile monitors in there first. Um, Nile monitors need little to no space, thankfully. And they need water. <laughs> this isn't going to be enough for Nile monitors. That's what's the wrong plants, I think. Yeah. That might be for the Nialis. But this isn't the habitat. <laughs> oh, goodness. Where did I put the Nile monitors? I think I might have put them in here. This fits from the general style, so um, that's where they're going. <laughs> um, as I said, I am unknowing in this in this scenario. I know about as much as you do, uh, probably even less, if you've played it before. Because this one I really just quickly finished to finish it. Just for the sake of finishing it. And um, after this is the, the final scenario as I said. So I was just trying to get to that one really. I will confess my crime. If it is a crime I don't quite know. Uh, but now we need more war stuff again because this is area 3. Oh well, it's fine. There we go. Can you please bring me my baby lizards? Please. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
go away. Um, okay, I'm having... Yep, yeah, I'm already having people repair those. Uh, there's not much we can do about the money loss thing right now. It's just as huge to do we've got running. So for now all you can do is just try to get the animals in. And uh, to get happy customers. Happy visitors. Okay, yep, this seems okay. Um, African... <laughs> African grassland, yay! Not like I spend all of my... All of my franchise here in the African grassland. But it's fine, we've got more African grassland animals over there as well. I'm um, over here. Just some minimal decoration. Because I can't place any more than that anyways. And some info signs. And of course donation boxes. This is probably gonna have a few episodes like six, seven again, I fear. Um <laughs> because it's uh, gonna be another long scenario. Um I've decided that I'll probably just cut any like unnecessary waiting times. Like, not this here because I'm actually doing stuff, but when I'm waiting for animals to grow up or something. I'll probably just cut that. This could be turned into another habitat, maybe. I think I built a lion habitat over here at some point. We get lions. Um, this is all like monkeys and such. I think I had the ponders in here and the, the, the Siberian tigers. I don't remember exactly. Uh, the visitors are actually fairly happy. How much are we charging? Oh, very well, for three bucks. Uh, they might as well be happy. <laughs> no. The Indian rhino, the Nyala. These can live on their own, so can the Nyala, I believe. The um, Siberian Tiger needs a mate. Oh, can live on their own, but I like, I prefer having a second animal with them just for the sake of um, being able to have offspring. Let's see if we can find a female Nyala, because that's the cheapest out of all of these. For both males. <laughs> okay, well that's not gonna work. Which habitat did I plan to use for the Nyalas? It's like this one says it's not Nyalas because of the flowers, but um... I think we get tortoises, which are definitely gonna go in here. And um, this is for macaques. Also monkeys. Also monkeys. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's just put the yellows in here. If we get a red panda, then this is where the red panda is gonna go. But we can always build new habitats. I have made a decision. <laughs> uh, mostly because I don't know where else to put it. Look, we've got offspring, yay! Oh wait, it's the peafowl. <laughs> you stop producing offspring right now. <laughs> um, for those of you who haven't played in the beginning, the peafowl were one of those species where offspring was feared because at some point you'd have like a thousand peafowl. You, you bought two peafowl, you put them in a habitat, you went to get a snack, you know, um, gone for five minutes, you had a thousand people. <laughs> All of them were in red. There's nothing you can do. I think they fixed that, you know, but um, nonetheless... You know, I wouldn't want to be uh, the person having to deal with all of those... All of those baby animals. Okay, 
So let's take a look at Umi. She's actually fairly happy here. She's got enough space. I mean, yeah, they don't need a lot of space. Wait, you're African. Oh, 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 that was, that was stupidity on my part. I always mix up the Nyala and Dokapi, which is a lot of stupidity on my part, I, I know, but it was stupidity on my part. <laughs> so she's probably meant to go in here with the Rhinoceros. Come on, move it! <laughs> I also like how there's like no visitors around here. It's like all the visitors are just going to the wolves and the um, people. I mean, it makes sense. All the other animals, like these guys are so far away and it's one Nyala. You would go through full empty already. I don't even have a Siberian tiger. <laughs> I mean, thank you, but I don't even really have one. Okay, so first of all, let's purge this habitat of all the plants we can't have. Which, you know, it was well decorated, but uh, it was too well decorated. Is there any shelter in here? Apparently. Okay, so all we need is... Um, a food. Oh, we'll use a large one because there's going to be a lot of animals in here at some point. There's a space where I can put this without the game doing weird shapes. Ah, that, that's that's okay. That's an acceptable weird shape. And... Uh, which area is it? The empty ones. Well, um, they're empty. <laughs> they're empty, I don't really care. I oh, this one, I do care about them. Why is it still called empty? Um... Sorry if, if you still hear the keyboard, I have to finish the audio settings after the first episode because I was testing something new, but um, it obviously isn't working. Very sorry if that just killed your ears. I'm not sure if like I like the plants underneath the water. I'm okay with these. I don't know why there's flowers under the water. I have no idea. Maybe like it's supposed to have been flooded at some point and now they're like, oh yeah, we're going to show you that. Um, where's the Indian Rhino? Okay, yeah, they will cost um, a currency we don't have. Can we get more rescue animals? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. You know the good thing is this is a rather a rather quiet and calm scenario. Um fitting of the actual look. Oh yeah, that's gonna be it for the first episode. We've <laughs> we haven't even managed to place all the animals. I could place them, but they wouldn't be happy. Like uh, I'm just gonna not place them right now. I'm actually gonna try to get some organic growth here because we do need to complete silver and gold as well um, these episodes will once again be coming every other day and if you're new you can also join the channel so that you're as in subscribe to the channel or just you know <laughs> check your info box every now and then um i'll probably show up in there because that's the algorithm you watch my franchise let's play I also do a few guides. I found that this one is one of the zoos where a lot of people complain that they can't finish it. So maybe this series will actually help you a little. If I manage to complete it, that, that's going to be the other question, right? Without too much chaos. And I hope you liked the video, and I hope I'll see you again in another one.